everybody, it's me, I'm the Gamer God, back here with another video. Guys, this episode, I'm gonna be counting down the top 10 PlayStation 4 games. So, let's begin. This is my opinion, so yeah. I don't like first person shooters, so don't expect many first person shooters out here. So, let's get started. Okay, so, number 10 is Far Cry 4. So, 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 in Far Cry 4, players find themselves in Kyrat, a breathtaking paralysis in the wild region of the Himalayas, struggling under the regime of a undemocratic self appointed king. Using a vast variety of weapons, vehicles, and animals, players have to write their own story across an exotic open world landscape. So, it will be a lot of fun and I totally recommend it to buy this. It's so awesome, Ubisoft killed it this time. I think it's situated in India, but I know it's so fun, you'll just love it. Number 9 is Destiny, The Rise of the Iron. So basically, in Destiny, Destiny's first expansion in more than a year is centered around a player's journey to become a new generation Iron Lord. Yes, it's a lot of fun and you will definitely love the storyline and gameplay. This is the gameplay, it's almost a typical first person shooter. So yeah, let's continue. Number 8 is, the is our very own Infamous First Light. Yes, it's so much fun to play. I mean, you'll just love it. I guarantee you. First Light feels grand. Due to its small size in a flash, you'll receive tremendous neon powers to cross the city with great speed. Though these powers are what makes First Light great, the rest of the game is not to be underestimated. The famous comic like cutscenes had a modest amount of collectibles and challenges and a special battle arena mode take first light beyond just feeling like infamous light so yeah this is such an awesome game as you can see the gameplay is so awesome like, just look at it so number i don't know six number seven is the assassin's creed series yes i've learned more history then in this game compared to my history classes I suck at history. So So in the Assassin's Creed series it depends on your style of gameplay. Yeah, if you love complex and compelling storylines and patience to do certain missions, listen through dialogue, as well as laugh, to slice through attacking guards and templars, then this is a great game for you. A storyline especially was incredible. And AC2 is now my most awaited game. But if you're like some of my friends and have no patience, love running in and just smashing and killing, then this storyline is really all that compatible to you. Then you may not like it and just write it off as a slow ma paced button measure. Number 6 is Bloodborne. So, Bloodborne is an awesome game. Well,. Bloodborne has a very good storyline, as I like. Yeah, incredible game, nice setting. It pops fear, soundtrack, and motion gameplay in it. I only got angry sometimes, cause I don't like hard games. Some bosses were really hard. I know, right? Some bosses were damn hard to me. And I could not even beat them. I mean, I was not even close to beating them. It's something different, and you'll have a lot of fun. You have many things to craft, and it's super hard. You'll never make it through. Number five is Watch Dogs. So, Watch Dogs was a vibrant, entertaining, and enjoyable game than the original Watch Dogs. Like so many recent Ubisoft games, it suffers from an annoying host of niggles and a sense of, I mean, you know, over familiarity. Yeah, just as Assassin's Creed, Creed found its identity with Ezio. So, Watch Dogs has found the same with Marcus Holloway and his hacking crew. Yes, I just said stuff for the Watch Dogs too, but no problem, you know. It's so awesome. Number 4 is GTA 5. It's so awesome, you'll just love it. Well, the GTA series is so awesome. 
So is GD Online. I have it on my PS4. And let me just say that this is the best action adventure game. GD 5 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is still a better game than most of the other games released on the consoles so far. Most. So yes. Three more are left and those are so awesome. Let me continue. Number three is your yeah, God of War series. Yes, Kratos is so awesome. Five years later, God of War 3 is still a great game and to play. It has not aged in bits of its terms of gameplay, and its remastering makes it definitely good. And yeah, God of War 3 remaster brings epic battles to life, elaborate plot that puts Kratos in the center of the carnage and distraction as he pursues revenge against the gods who betrayed him, who have betrayed him, sorry. Said in the realm of real Greek mythology, GLW3 Remastered is a single player game that allows players to assume the fierce, fear, fear, fearless role of the export and warrior Kratos as he rises from the darkest depths of Hades to scale the very heights of Mount Olympus to seek his bloody revenge. Armed with double-chained blades and an array of new weapons and magic, Kratos must take on the mythology's deadliest creatures while solving difficult puzzles throughout his merciless quest to destruction. What should I call it? I don't know. Number two is... The Last of Us Remastered. The Last of Us is a really different game, mixing traditional adventure, survival, action, Stealth and a constant exploration. The resources are most important. The best graphics on the PlayStation 4 are back in the hands of Naughty Dog. Also, the atmosphere and two unrepeatable and unforgettable characters. One word. Overwhelming. Just love it. Drum roll. Here comes number one. It is... Uncharted. Yeah, I mean, I guess you expected it. It's the best game you might have ever played in your life. Uncharted works excellently as a definitive action-adventure experience and as a deep narrative-driven game. The huge attention to small details, combined with the perfect adjustments to a functional gameplay formula, results in a product that shows us the 30-year experience of Naughty Dog, one of the most valuable video game developers out there today. It's such an awesome game. You just look at the graphics. You just look at everything. You just love it. I mean, it's so awesome that you, your mind will be, I don't know, blown or something. Why did I say that? I don't know. Yeah, so guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this, share it, do everything you can. And yeah, keep rocking. Bye.